Hey, Rose. Are you there? I want to talk to you about something. It's really important, so pay attention. Yes, Mila? I'm here. What is it? Hey, can you please just hurry up and get divorced from Justin already? You've been holding him back for way too long, and he doesn't even have any feelings for you. It's time to let him go and be with his true love, you know? What? I honestly don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean, what? I'm sure you already know, but let me remind you again. Justin and I have been friends since we were little kids. We even went to the same play group in elementary school. We always had a thing for each other, you know? It was always Mila and Justin. That's what everyone used to say. But when we moved away with his parents for business, we ended up in a long-distance relationship. I mean, you must have known about all of this, right? Honestly, I had no idea there was something going on between you and Justin back then. Justin never told me about it. Wait, you don't know? Oh, I see. Maybe Justin intentionally keeps it a secret from you to avoid any jealousy. Poor Rose. I can imagine how hurtful it is to be left in the dark by your own husband. It's definitely not a nice feeling at all. Well, thanks, I guess. Hey, listen, even though our relationship naturally came to an end over time, we never stopped loving each other. And now that he's back in town and back in my life, it feels like the universe wants us to be together again, you know? I can't believe you had the audacity to snatch him away from me like that. It's really holding back his true love, and that's not cool. The best thing for everyone involved is for you to let him go and set him free. You've got to go through with the divorce so he can have a fresh start with me. It's the right thing to do. Trust me. Now, let me please explain a few things back to you. Yes, it is true that he's returned to his childhood hometown. But the only reason he's come back is because he'll be taking over ownership of his grandfather's company. It has been on the books for the longest time. You, on the other hand, didn't you get married to your high school sweetheart? The fact that you simply stayed here after your marriage is the only reason that Justin has seemed to return. It's simply a matter of physical distance. There's no emotional reasoning behind the move. There's really nothing more to it than that. Anyway, from what I hear, there was nothing between you and Justin in the first place anyway. Yeah, I get it. That's the story you want to hold on to, right? But let me tell you the real deal. Justin and I had this connection that went beyond words. We just understood each other on a whole other level, you know? It was that intense connection that made our love flourish into what it became. But hey, I don't really expect you to get it or anything. Anyway, that's exactly why I don't want you getting in the middle of us. Our bond is something special, and I don't want anything or anyone messing with it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Okay, let me be honest and speak my mind here for a moment. Mainly because we have to live in the same town from now, I'd hate for you to get the wrong impression and continue with this crazy line of thought. Yep, go ahead and speak your mind. I allow it. Yes, are you ready? I really need you to pay attention to me now. You have been causing nothing but trouble for Justin and me the past few weeks. You need to stop it before it gets too far out of hand. What? Me? I wouldn't cause any trouble to anyone, especially to Justin. I love him more than anything. I think you have me confused for someone else. Hey, listen. I've been hearing things from people around town about you being nosy and jumping to conclusions. I didn't want to believe it, but now I'm starting to think that there might be some truth to it. Huh. Well, I have to disagree. I think you're the one who's misinterpreting the situation here. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just asserting what rightfully belongs to me, and that's Justin. Don't you feel any shame for sleeping with someone else's husband? That's just completely shameless of you. Hang on, hang on. Before we get into the issue of my husband, you're married to a company executive with two children, are you not? Why are you trying to steal my husband from me? Is it some sort of sick, perverted game you like to play? Breaking up marriages? That's a bit rich. 
I'm the one who should be asking you the same question. After all, you were the one who stole my future husband in the first place. The only reason I married my current husband and chose the path that I'm on is because I'd given up on the hope that Justin would ever return to me. If anything, that was my only mistake. But now, because it was destiny that we be together, he's come back. He's finally come back for me. Yes, he is back. But again, you're misunderstanding the situation. He came back so he can take over from his grandfather and running the family business. You might see it as a sudden thing, but it's been planned from the start many, many years ago. How many times do I have to tell you? He didn't return for you. Nah, you've got it all wrong. Let me set the record straight. Justin and I had a plan way back when. We talked about it, you know. Once he took charge of the family business, he was going to come back and make me his wife. That was the deal we made. Trust me, he's been eagerly waiting for this moment to finally reunite with me. It's been a long time coming, and I know it's going to happen. Don't you realize the contradictions in your own story? If you'd have made the arrangement, why would you go off and marry someone else? Honestly, it makes no sense at all. What are you talking about? You are deluded. There are no contradictions at all. The only contradictions and inconsistency that I can see are your existence. It's plain and simple. You're nothing but a hindrance. Now hurry up and get divorced. Get divorced and disappear from our lives forever. You're preventing Justin and me from being truly happy. Hi, Justin, honey. I know you're working late tonight. I hope I'm not bothering you. Hey, honey. No bother at all. What can I do for you? I was just wondering what time you think could be finished. If you let me know, I'll come and pick you up. Hmm, okay, sure. That would be great. I'm more than happy to take a bus home, though. Yes, I know. But sometimes I just feel better picking you up. Okay, cheers. Um, is there anything you need to tell me? Yes, there is. How did you know? Well, you can call it a hunch. Good hunching. Yes, actually it's Mila again. I don't know what her issues are, but she's been sending me more strange messages. Again? That's been happening every day since we came back now. Do you want to tell me about it now? No, it's okay. It's nothing so urgent that you need to worry about it at work. It's just that she's actually sitting in her car outside of our building right now. I thought it might be better if she didn't see you come home. Are you for real? Doesn't she realize that's stalking? I've told her so many times to get off of our case. I'm just so glad we went with an apartment with such good security. Yes, you're right. For the moment, I think the best course of action is to keep using the underground car park entrance to come and go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks for the heads up. I'm sorry that you have to go out of your way like this. I still can't believe that she thinks that we were even dating back at school. And then, to continue thinking that we were such a hot couple that we would ultimately end up getting married? I don't think anyone could have imagined she would end up taking it this far. I know, right? I've never heard of anyone being so confused. We only moved here two weeks ago, but the whole two weeks she's been unrelenting. She's been contacting me daily with a variety of arguments of why she should be with you. I'd heard the rumors about her, but I didn't believe they could be true. Now that I've experienced it firsthand, I'm starting to understand why she's still referred to as Miss Misunderstanding. It's hard to believe that someone like this is actually married and has children of her own. Indeed. Actually, the other day I was chatting with some old school friends. The word on the street is that her marriage is more of a convenience. Convenience? What do you mean by that? Yeah, the rumors are that Mila's husband was running a company, but it got into some financial troubles. 
Mila's father, who also had a successful company, bailed them out. But to save a lot of extra tax payments, Mila had to get married to her husband. Legally, it was no problem to do so. But can you imagine anyone even agreeing to that? I see. So it was a sort of political marriage of convenience then. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. But the truth is, since then, the tables have turned. Now it's Mila's husband's company that is helping out Mila's father's company. Because they're both owing debts of gratitude to each other, it's making it very difficult for Mila to get out of the relationship. On top of that, they have the children to think about too. According to my friends, she's been looking for a reason that would allow her to file divorce for quite a while. I see. There's always two sides to the story, isn't there? It must be tough for her. Yes, and in a way, I do feel sorry for her being put in that position. Yeah, I see what you mean. But it doesn't justify all the crazy things she's been doing to us. I know. She's been getting weirder by the day, you know. Oops, sorry for rambling. I, I better get back to work. I'm sorry to have kept you chatting for so long. No, there's no problem at all. I'm just not actually very busy. I just need to finalize some things before my trip next week. It should only take about an hour, but I'll message you when I'm done. Haha! <laughs> just as I thought. It would appear Justin and I are destined to be married. See? I was right all along. Oh, hello again, Mila. Why am I not surprised to hear from you? While I have your attention, would you mind telling me why there was a document filing for divorce in my mailbox today? Huh? What on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about the divorce papers that are filled out with your name on them. The ones that were in my mail today and now in my hands. I really don't understand what you're trying to do. Oh, dear. Those little things. They have totally slipped my mind till just now. Yes, they would be the divorce papers I left there so that you could fill them out and begin your divorce. I think that you are never going to get off your behind and do it, so I simply started the ball rolling. Oh, what? Okay. It's weird, but these are filled out with your name on them. I see... Well, that must be my silly husband's fault. If you have the papers with my name on them, it would appear he gave you the wrong ones. You see, I left two copies on our counter. He must have gotten confused again. You can cross out my name and write yours instead or simply pick up a new copy. Do you mean to say you intend to divorce your husband? Yes, of course. And then finally, Justin and I can be together. After all, Justin has already taken the first step, so I know he's ready at last. What do you mean he took the first steps? Well, today he's going on a business trip, right? I heard that from my child, who heard it from your child at kindergarten. Yes, and what does that have to do with anything? Oh, come on, you're still not getting it. It was all part of my sweet Justin's sneaky plan to send me a message. He cleverly used his own child as a messenger, you know? Sure, it may seem like he's going on a regular business trip, but the real deal is that it's a pre-wedding vacation with yours truly. We're taking some quality time together before tying the knot. Isn't it romantic? No, you're the one who doesn't understand. There's no surface or below the surface. It's simply a business trip for work. Nothing more. Yes, that's what you want to believe, isn't it? But it's okay. I know the truth. Justin and I, we're going to be together, no doubt about it. Our friends and family will be over the moon for us, mark my words. I can already imagine our dream wedding, picture perfect in every way. Trust me, everything's going to go according to plan. We've got this. I really don't know how to get you to listen. I've tried telling you over and over. You're mistaken. 
you're confused. Nothing is going to happen ever. Oh. You sound so depressed and pathetic. The truth is, I'm already at his hotel and have checked in. What? Please tell me that you're joking. No jokes. I was going to tell him ahead of time, but instead I thought I would surprise him. So I followed his car and snuck in before he saw me. Don't you think that's pretty romantic? Hang on. No, that's not romantic. That's straight up stalking territory. Seriously, you must be out of your mind to even entertain such an idea. Well, I wasn't sure if I would be able to snag a room in the same hotel, but luck was on my side and there happened to be a spare one available. I'm super excited for tonight. I just know he's going to pop the question. I better get a move on and start sleuthing for his room. Gotta make sure everything's in place for this big moment. Justin, are you at the hotel already? Are you in your room now? Hey, Rose. Yeah, I just checked in. I thought I might take a walk. After all, it is such a lovely day, and this town is renowned for its sights. Maybe I'll find a coffee shop by the lake. Honey, please don't leave your room. Lock the door right now. Hurry up and do as I say. What? Why? Mila is there too. What? Is she... Oh man, why is she so persistent? And how did she know where my hotel is? She followed you in her car from your office. She plans to stay there tonight. She's trying to find you. Oh, come on. Is she still up to her tricks? It looks that way. She just sent me some messages saying that she's already checked in. It would appear that she doesn't know which room you're in yet. But I think it's probably better if you keep out of sight. Oh, wow. That's heavy. Thanks for the heads up. I guess I'll just watch TV or something. I knew she was a bit crazy, but I didn't think she would ever go this far. All right, Justin. Just please be careful. Hey, Rose. What on earth are you doing here? Oh, I get it. You're here to interfere with Justin and I. Why do you always have to be so mean to me? I always consider you my best friend. Okay, Mila, listen here now. You're acting way out of line. Yes, Justin is on a business trip. And yes, I am here too. But I've always been booked as a travel partner with him. Normally, for events like this, we would travel together. But today, I had some things to take care of, so he checked in first. What on earth are you talking about? It's his business trip. Shirley, you have no reason to join him. Admit it, you're just trying to get in the way between me and Justin because you're jealous. See? I can read you like an open book now. On the contrary, you see, tomorrow is the 30th anniversary celebration of the opening of this hotel. Justin was invited by the owners, but he only accepted on the condition that he could bring me along. That's not possible. Why would he do that? Well, you see, Justin really wanted his business partners to meet me and remember exactly who his wife was. I guess to put it in more simple terms, he wanted his business partners to be introduced to the future vice president of the company. No, that's my position. I should be his wife instead of you. You're nothing to him. Oh, also... I'm pregnant and carrying his second child. I guess it means something, right? That can't be true. You... you're crazy. So, I guess that shows he has zero intention to leave me and marry you. Is that enough to make you finally realize the truth? Rose, it's with a sad heart. But I think I'll have to give up my dreams of being with Justin. I will admit that I was mistaken in my belief that he would propose to me. I wish you both all the best for the future. 
I see. I appreciate that. I'm glad you've finally come to terms with it. Honestly, I feel relieved. I thought your harassment would never end. By the way, remember those divorce papers that you had for me? You can just dispose of those now. I guess they aren't needed. After all, I'm glad they never made it into my husband's hands. Just think about it. I almost got divorced over nothing. I'm glad they were given to you by mistake and not given to the registrar. Yeah, yeah, about that. Your husband said he's already filed the papers. Filed? You mean? Yeah, just this morning he sent me a message saying he'd submitted the papers to the register. What? No. Why would he do that? Yeah, that's right. Actually, yesterday before I left, I noticed the papers and thought it was best to have a chat with your husband about it. After I gave him the papers, I left to come here. I don't know exactly what happened, but he said he was going to contact your parents and his for a chat. I guess if you want any particulars, you should speak to him yourself. Hang on. Why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing to me? I don't know why you're asking me that question. All I can tell you is that Justin was extremely freaked out by your constant stalking of him. Stalking? I was never stalking him. I was just trying to be nice to him. You know, trying to get to know him better. He told you repeatedly that your advances were not welcome and wanted you to stop. Normally, if you continue after that, most people would consider it stalking. I'm surprised he hasn't called the cops yet. But it was never my intention to stalk or scare him. Intention or not, that's what happened. And you have to take responsibility for it. Oh no, Rose, please. I don't deserve this. Can you please help me convince my husband to call off the whole divorce thing? He's not responding to my texts or calls anymore. I'm really sorry, all right? Rose, you're the only one I can turn to for help. I don't think that's my problem at all. Anyway, have a good life. Mila's husband had reached the breaking point and decided to file for divorce, citing her persistent attraction to another woman's husband as the primary reason. After discussions with her father, they agreed to swiftly finalize the divorce, with her husband gaining custody of their children and Mila being held responsible for paying reparations for the losses incurred. Unfortunately, the severed business ties between Mila's husband and her father had severe consequences, leading to the collapse of their company within a year due to the lack of financial support. The other day, I caught a sight of Mila from a distance, and it was apparent that she wasn't doing well. Her appearance had changed. She was no longer adorned in the high-end designer clothes I was accustomed to seeing her in. Her hair seemed unkept, and I couldn't tell if she had put on much makeup. Rumor has it that she has to repay money she had taken from her ex-husband, adding to her financial burdens along with significant child support payments. To make ends meet, she had taken on night shifts at a part-time job. When Mila noticed me, she quickly covered her face and hurried away. It seemed she had finally come to terms with the gravity of her actions and the consequences they had brought upon her. Perhaps, in her mind, it was easier to escape from the past than to confront it head-on whenever possible. <laughs>